Hi! In this lesson, we are going to introduce a programming concept that will help us leverage the modulus calculation into an automated computer decision. As a reminder, we learned that if the remainder of a division calculation is zero, then the numbers divide evenly, and one number, the smaller one, is a factor of the other. In the example 8 mod 2 equals zero, that zero means there is no remainder in the division calculation of 8 divided by 2. And so we can say 2 is a factor of 8. To generalize this, we say that if a mod b equals 0, then b is a factor of a. Introducing the if statement. In Python, an if statement executes code only if the condition is true. It looks something like this. If a condition is true, then do something. Otherwise, don't do anything. Let's look at the different components of the statement. To begin, every if statement must begin with the code word if, followed by a conditional expression that will evaluate to true or false, which we'll see some examples of in a moment. Then the top line must end in a colon. Under the first line, there must be indentations for every line of code you want executed if the condition is true. And the do something here is that code that will run. Note you can have any number of lines of code in this section. For our purposes, we want to check to see if the mod calculation is going to give us zero, meaning no remainder. To do this, we write double equal sign, which means is equal to. Essentially, we are saying here that if the mod calculation is equal to zero, then print the factor. Let's look at a few examples. Here we have a statement that says, if 6 mod 2 is equal to 0, then print, this is a factor. So, will this code print? And the answer is yes. 2 does divide evenly into 6, giving us a remainder of 0. Okay, what about this one? 6 mod 3 is equal to 0. Will this code print? Again, yep. How about 6 mod 4 is equal to 0? Will this print? This will not print. 6 divided by 4 has a remainder, so 6 mod 4 is not equal to 0, and therefore 4 is not a factor of 6. Okay, this one is a little different, but still the same idea. It's saying if the string candy is equal to the string candy, then execute the print statement. So will this code print? And the answer is yes. They are the same value of strings, and so the print statement will be executed. And one final one, we have if candy is equal to A, B, C, D, E, then run the print statement. So will this one print? And of course the answer is no, those strings are not the same, therefore the print statement will not execute. Bringing this back to the jawbreaker example, we want to print the number of bags, that is factors, and the jawbreakers per bag, only if they divide evenly. So our if statement will look like if candy count mod bag count is equal to zero, then print the string bags followed by the number of bags, and then the string jawbreakers per bag, and finally followed by the calculation candy count divided by bag count. All four print statements will execute if that condition is true. Great, let's see this in action. We'll start with a couple simple if statements and then we'll move back to our candy example. So if 4 mod 2 is equal to 0, then let's print the string 2 is a factor of 4. And we'll run this. And great, the print statement executed, meaning 4 mod 2 is equal to 0. How about a harder one that we can't predict? If 1,123 mod 12 is equal to 0, then let's print 12 is a factor of 1,123. We'll run this, and we don't see the print line executed, which means that 12 into 1,123 did produce a remainder, and therefore the print statement did not run. All right. Now back to our candy example here. We'll set up our variables as before. Candy count equals 56, and bag count will start with 2. 
And now our if statement. So if candy count mod bag count is equal to zero. And then let's have the same print statements we've seen before. So the number of bags used, bag count, job breakers per bag, and our calculation. And so this will print if our candy count mod bag count is equal to zero, in which case it is. Bag count divided evenly into candy count, which we knew before when we had bags of two. So now let's copy and paste this, uh, and we'll repeat what we did before and change our variable bag count. And let's change it to three and run this. And as we know, three was not a factor of 56. So in this case, candy count mod bag count was not equal to zero, and so the print statements did not execute. The nice thing here is we can now copy and paste this multiple times, and the print statements will only execute if the uh, mod calculation is equal to zero. Uh, so we don't have to sift through a lot of outputs uh, that won't be relevant to us. So we let's copy this all the way down to seven and run it. And here we see that bag options two, four, and seven did divide evenly into the candy count, and so are bag options for us.